Mike Trout hits a golf ball, Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant are mic'd up during a game, and Trevor Bauer tips his pitches to one of the batters. This is exactly what baseball needs. Hey guys, it's Josh, the Now You Know It All, coming to you today kind of with a midweek recap, just kind of rounding up what's going on in the world of baseball. Actually recording this on Tuesday, uh, just because things are crazy, want to have it done ahead of time. So if anything happens Tuesday night in the baseball world, I won't be talking about it here, but I'm sure I'll make another video tomorrow or today talking about it. Before we jump into this, guys, take a moment, subscribe to the channel. That way you know when content is coming out. I put out new videos every day. Just had a video post with an interview with a member of the Spokane Falls Community College baseball team. Got six more of those coming out. Those are great interviews, a lot of fun. It's great hearing the uh, just the viewpoint and the thoughts of younger players as they really are in the heart of their career. And it's fun to talk about that, Fun to just fun to be a part of that. So don't forget to subscribe. Guys, let's move on though. Some cool stuff has happened these last few days, and some of it is stuff that really shows what baseball needs to continue doing to market itself. So right off the bat, the first thing that happened is Mike Trout goes out and hits a golf ball. He's at Top Golf uh, in the Phoenix area. I know there's one in Glendale. I think there's another one um, on the east side of, of Phoenix as well. I'm not sure. I just know the one in Glendale. So he's out at one of the Top Golf, and he just drills this shot. Now, if you guys don't know, I actually did golf in college. I got a scholarship for that uh, and did that for, for a year before moving back home because it was in Missouri and Missouri is a tough place for me. Uh, I like the mountains. So, so I did golf. I know what it's like to hit a ball a long ways. I've hit balls 300 yards in tournaments, in matches. I've done that before. And what he did was just monstrous. I, I don't know how far that ball went, uh, but to do it with a top golf driver, just one of the drivers they have there and one of the balls they have there, man, he just destroyed the ball. And in the first 18 hours that that video was posted, it had over 8 million views. So for me, one, I see that, oh, that's awesome, that's cool, Mike Trout hitting a golf ball. But it makes me think and realize right off the bat that baseball fans are so starved for social media content and videos like this that they just flock to it and share it and watch it over and over again. Because once again, we're kind of starved and of, of this content that we desire. The NBA has this content. The NFL has this content. Heck, even the NHL has this content coming out. So baseball doesn't have that. And we're, we're hurting as fans because we don't get to see that. So, you know, I love the fact that it came out. I love the fact that it went viral. But more stuff like this needs to happen. There's going to be more content, more videos like this that need to be put out there. Not all of them will go viral, but... Honestly, baseball fans are, are just dying for this. They want this. I mean, another example, Chris Bryant and you know Anthony Rizzo were mic'd up for a game where they could hear each other and the, and the broadcasters, which, first of all, that made it a lot more enjoyable. It wasn't just the broadcasters and one of the guys. It was both guys who, they're pretty good friends, and the broadcasters, so they were making jokes with each other, goofing around, and that was awesome. That was so much fun to hear the different clips, uh, to hear Rizzo at first base saying, you know, ball comes my way, I'm going to call the whole thing. And he's like, and then the ball gets hit to him. He's like, hit the chest, hit the chest, hit the chest, and does that. And then, you know, Chris Brank comes up to the bat, and he's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, doing the whole rookie of the year thing. It was funny. I loved it. I could seriously sit and watch a game just listening to that and not even care what's going on in the game. It was fun. It was entertaining. It was something that even the casual fan can get behind and be excited about. So I love it. I love that. You know, and then you get Trevor Bauer, who I'm going to say this right now, guys. I did a video, what, maybe two weeks ago about how I've become a Trevor Bauer fan. I'm beyond that now. I am. He is my favorite player pretty much to listen to right now. I could follow him and listen to what he's saying all day, every day. But he goes out there playing the Dodgers, and he has nothing against the Dodgers. But to jab at the Astros, 
on one of the batters he faced, Max Beatty, he actually signals what his pitch is going to be. You know, he's he's showing the, the flip of the glove, the point, the roll. I mean, he's doing this whole thing, telling every pitch that's coming, just as a jab at the Astros, and I love it. I love it. I, I hope he does it again. I'm sure he will, especially in spring training. I can see him doing it a few more times. Um, it's just, it's great content. You know, yes, in some ways it's controversial, but it's great baseball content. That's something that Major League Baseball has been lacking so much of the last few years. I mean, this video of Trout hitting a golf ball is one of the few videos we've seen of him in his entire career. We have him robbing the home run in, in Angel Stadium where he's fully spread out. And we've seen that a few times, but I'll be honest, I haven't seen a video of that in probably a year. I mean, I've seen a few highlights of him hitting home runs, but that's it. Maybe the greatest player of this generation, maybe the greatest player of all time, and that's all we're getting is a highlight here and there. There should be stuff with Mike Trout every single day. It should be flooded with Mike Trout stuff. And I know some people say, well, people will get tired of it. No, no, they won't. Look at, look at basketball. LeBron James, even if he doesn't even play, there's stuff with him going out. Because the NBA knows, take your biggest star and make them bigger. Just put them out there. People will see it. People will watch it. People will be attracted to it and drawn to the game that, that it's promoting. Baseball needs to do this. Every game that Mike Trout plays... Even if he just walks up to the batter's box and w takes four pitches and walks to first, that needs to be put on social media. When he hits a routine ground ball and hustles from start to finish, you know, from, from home plate to first, trying to beat it out, that needs to go on social media. It needs to be all over the place. Guys, guys like that, Cody Bellinger needs to be all over the place. Javier Baez needs to be all over the place every day. Every day, because that's what baseball needs. You know, I, I love the, and they talk about, you know, going to the Cubs with, with Rizzo and Bryant being mic'd up. That should happen every spring training game. Every spring training game. From the start of spring training to the end, there should be guys mic'd up every game talking with the broadcasters. That doesn't have to be the entire game, but at least a couple innings. Have them talk. Have them having fun. I mean, think back to when Mookie Betts was in right field. He was mic'd up and talking that was some of the best stuff I've ever seen in a game. You know, the ball gets hit out to him. And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. And he takes off running. And it was fun. It's fun. It makes you laugh. It makes you smile. It makes you enjoy the game. And that's what baseball has been lacking. So my thought is every spring training game needs to be televised, first of all. And even if it's, even if you bring in college broadcasters and say, hey, this is your chance to come in and do a game. You know, we'll pay you uh, 50 bucks to come in. And this, this is some experience that you can get and put it on your resume. You know, people can watch you, listen to you, and kind of get a feel for who you are in case you want to apply for, for other jobs like that. So bring in some college broadcasters. Bring in things like that and let them do it. And just have fun. Have fun with spring training. Broadcast the games. Mic a player up. Talk with them. Interact with them. No, the All-Star game should be, it should have at least five guys mic'd up throughout that game. I mean, every inning, maybe a different guy is mic'd up talking to the broadcasters because it's fun. It's enjoyable. It needs to happen. It just needs to happen. That's, there's no other way to put it. And then, you know, once again, going back to Trevor Bauer, this just emphasizes the fact that the Astros aren't going away from the minds of the fans and the players. I mean, even Rizzo, when he was going to bat yesterday, he's like, okay, I'm doing the math, trying to figure out what the next pitch is going to be. Hey, could someone bang a garbage can for me? I mean, it's just, it's little jabs, little trolls like that that are going to keep this going. And I'm glad it is. The Astros deserve everything they get this year, barring physical injury, physical threats. That is not okay. So the guys who are sending death threats and like that get a life. I mean, that's, that's just pathetic. It's sad. But to be booed, to be um, kind of mocked and, and trash talked at, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Go for it. Do that to the Astros. You know, they've kind of earned it. So 
this isn't going away. The Astros thing is not going away. Trevor Bauer is going to keep reminding us. Other players are going to keep reminding us. And I think once the season gets going, every series the Astros play in is going to be the other team talking about how they're making sure that the Astros don't cheat again this year. How they don't cheat. How they don't do this. Don't. They're going to be really emphasizing that. And it's going to hammer the Astros day in and day out. And, you know, I really think that their season is not going to be a great season. But... Overall, this has been a better spring training than the past. There's been more things happening, more videos, more discussions, more talk about baseball that we haven't seen really the last few years. I mean, there's been spring trainings in which we go out and say, oh, well, there's games going on. Great. Okay, a minor leaguer came in and hit a home run late in the game. Great. Okay, 10 days till opening day. And that's it. That's our whole talk. But this year we actually have... Other things we're discussing, other things we're talking about, videos that we're enjoying to watch. Uh, and once again, I will just say this, every game needs to have a player mic'd up. Now, I know playoffs, not a chance. Regular season, that's even that's kind of tough just because, you know, it is teams trying to earn a playoff bid. But if they could figure a way to mic up one player every game during the regular season, I'd be okay with that. I think it'd be fun. Now, they don't have to talk to the, the broadcasters and stuff because, you know, that can be distracting. But I would love to have a guy just told, hey, we're going to mic you up. Just talk about what you're thinking about, what you're what you're looking at. Just, you know, if you're out in the outfield, are you shifting? Why are you shifting? Just just talk, you know, take your thoughts and, and put them out into to words so we can hear them, understand them. It'd be fun. And once again, I know regular season is probably not going to happen. I understand why. I wouldn't really push for that, but I wouldn't be opposed to that either. So, but guys, really, midweek, we're in, what, today's the 4th of March. That's not bad to have a good, strong, strong discussion and videos and stuff going out for Major League Baseball because, once again, last few years, that hasn't happened. It just hasn't happened. So, I'm loving it. I sat and watched the Mike Trout golf swing probably 50 times uh the video is short so you know just keep it going keep it going that was fun i've tried to watch as many different video clips of rizzo and bryant talking just it's just fun it, that's what it is it's fun baseball should be fun so guys that's my midweek roundup i'm josh and now you know it all thanks for checking us out thanks for watching subscribe to the channel and we will see you in a video tomorrow have a good day